we got a special delivery. Let's see what it is. Hey, it's Frank Baltieres with the video series, How to Build Your Food Truck. I do have a food truck called Rolling Burritos Food Truck, and we're building another one. And what could this be? Could it be a pair of shoes? Ooh. Oh man, it's just a water pump. <laughs> hey, but with that, this is an important part of the videos that we're gonna be shooting today because we are gonna be focused on the water heater and on the hand sink. And this makes the pressure go. But with that, I wanna take a quick second and thank you everybody because we reached a huge milestone together because we are in this together. I'm doing these videos for you. We reached a thousand subscribers. I woke up this morning and at 5 a.m. we were 9.99 and a little bit later, bam, we hit a thousand. Very, very cool and I wanna thank you all for being part of this journey because I get, again, these videos are for you. Any questions or comments that you do have, please let me know. I get to every single one of them in the most timely of manner that I can. So with that, let's go right on outside and let's get started with the video series, How to Build Your Food Truck, Frank Baltieres. So tomorrow, being Black Friday, we're going shopping, but not for Black Friday deals. We're actually gonna go shopping for, they call it PEX plumbing right here, PEX, P-E-X as well as for some of this inch and a half PVC. And uh, I just ordered this today uh, from Amazon. It was $99. I'm gonna link it here in the description. So we're gonna install this tomorrow. And as well, we're gonna take notes of what's needed here with our gas lines, with our uh, black, they call it black pipe. So we're gonna take notes of exactly what it is, three quarter by 24. And then we're gonna build this right here. I saw this one in another food truck and I copied exactly what they did. It has little shutoffs and everything there. So whatever's right there, we're gonna duplicate that again. But we're gonna take notes on this black pipe right here and then on this PEX. And then we're gonna install this propane XL tankless water heater. So let's go do it. This is a hand sink that we're gonna be using, the exact same one, Region C model number 600 hs 17 so that means it measures 17 inches from left to right the original one i had bought was about i think it was either 12 inches or 15 inches but the health department did not like it so we had to replace it for this one right here i bought it again so we're going to install that as well and like i said this one's a tankless water heater and uh, this is where it vents out so that I, I really like this and it heats up super duper quick so there you go that's the one we're going to use right there it's a propane water heater by xl and i'm going to link that as well so that's kind of like the front end of the truck and uh, let me show you guys one more thing in the front by the propane tanks right here this regulator as well uh this one has been one of my favorite things because you can switch propane tanks in case one runs out you go left to right and then you just buy this bracket separate and then this high flow uh, propane regulator right there and then that goes right into the it's a little rusty crusty right there but uh it still works perfectly fine and then your two 30 pound propane tanks right in the front so that's kind of like the gist of the front end of the food truck here's how that hand sink comes packaged nice and uh, neat from Websterant. i'm sure they probably have it on amazon let me see if i can find a link or if Websterant has an affiliate then we'll link it there but that's a great company as well i really like them it was 80 dollars right here and this is how it comes packaged everything comes right inside and this one has the faucet right there. I believe it has the faucet. I'm almost sure. Let's go see it inside and I'll verify. Right here. Yes, it does have the faucet right there. And then it has a little drain stop right inside, right in here for the drain, which goes right there. And there's your faucet for your hand sink to wash your hands as required by the health department. Then it, com it comes into little pieces like this. All you do is... You put that part right there, which is the gooseneck faucet, as they call it, and you stab it in right in that hole. And then this part goes into the hand sink right there, like this on that side. And here's how the water heater gets packaged. It's made by Excel, high efficiency. There it is right there, low pressure startup, whatever you guys need to see. Let me tell you guys, it's the model number JS10D vent free tankless gas water heater automatic tankless and i bought this from camping world actually and this along with the generator stand in the front 
it was $394 together and what powers this on to give it the spark is these batteries right there but that's the tankless water heater that we're going to use and it's pretty straightforward on the output side of everything input output uh, at the beginning I really didn't know what it all meant but then I uh, started kind of YouTubing and googling some stuff so the water is going to go right in here and then it does this thing when it's inside and then you do the other part right in here that's how you get hot water and then this fires up the propane that's where it goes right there gas input water output water input and it all makes sense after we put it all together and we're going to get some nice toasty hot water and what we're going to do here to hang it up is we're just going to put a screw almost halfway through and then we're going to hang this right in there and then we're going to tighten it up like that and that way when you put the little face plate right on top right there that's kind of like the little vent that it has exactly like on my food truck and that's how we install the water heater just like that and then obviously we have to run all the water lines underneath but that's the install of that water heater and then once everything's said and done once we install everything we're going to put one more screw right here that way it doesn't move anywhere and now it's starting to look like a food truck a mobile kitchen on wheels little by little we're taking it and then we're gonna put the hand sink right there. It comes with this bracket right here. As you guys can see, it's NSF rated, Regency, and that uh, model number is the same one, 600HS17, but there's a bracket, BRKT. Um, so what we're gonna do is, this pretty much is the top of the hand sink. So we're gonna put it right, kind of where we want it, which is right around there. And then we just get the level, make sure we level it off, put these three screws, and then we can hang the hand sink on there temporarily we might have to move it here and there but at least we'll get the feel of how this will look right on there here's how that little drain thing comes in you got to unscrew all of these fun little parts that come with it right in there bang 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 and then you drop that right in and then you take this other one and you screw it from the bottom let's see if we can do it one-handed right there ah, i need someone to hold, hold it up top but anyways you guys get the idea so we're going to screw that out up top and then that'll hold this in place and that'll have our drain and then this goes when we put the inch and a half PVC right on there and on this part right here since there's not a lot of there's not a lot of clearance back here I have a handy dandy item that I found at Home Depot that will solve that problem for you where you can just drop from here bloop, straight down and then you can pex everything down in here excited so today's Thursday so I'm off and tomorrow is Black Friday but go shopping for some good deals don't uh, get distracted so shop around and you'll find some good prices and all this good stuff and that way you can get your food truck up and running but look at that we already got the front end plugged and played right there now we just gotta connect the water lines and the gas lines 